Hi folks, this is Max from NexusSHacks.com. Um, so I've got an update on the Nexus S. Uh, this is the AOKP ROM for Nexus S and Nexus S 4G. These are the official builds. Uh, let me just use my Nexus S 4G here um, to show you some of the differences. I did go over it um, in my Galaxy Nexus video, previous video on my channel. Uh, but I'll go over it for those of you who didn't watch that. Um, general UI, some of the stuff changed show notification count now you'll see that let me just untoggle it so you can kind of see what it does so if I put that on it'll show me the number of messages on apps that are supported so that is really nice um, some more extra stuff like recent RAM bar hold back to kill that's that was there before um, so recent RAM bar you can hold down the home button and you'll see how much RAM uh, your phone is using let's go back to settings here and uh, lock screen with the lock screen um, of course this is the same you can you can add more targets up to eight if you want to and uh, weather calendar that's all that was all there before and allow lock screen rotation so this one allows you to unlock your phone um, sideways if you want to it's a little bit it's a little bit off that's the only problem um, but it's kind of cool. You can see it sideways. At least, at least um, you can kind of unlock it. So there you go. And uh, navigation bar. Um, there is an option for nav bar ring, but this one doesn't work. It only works on Galaxy Nexus, so I'm not going to go into it. Uh, battery clock, toggle, signal, uh, performance. Oops, performance. Um, it's set at 1 gigahertz, so you'll need a uh, overclockable kernel if you want to overclock it. But it's pretty fast as it is. Apart from those small changes, it does run the latest Android 4.1.2. So definitely highly recommend it. Um, if you're a fan of AOKP, definitely try out and uh, let me know what you think. But pretty solid ROM. Um, I, would, I, I would still have to go with some of the other ROMs though, like Codename and uh, CM10 maybe. This ROM does have, you know, it, it, it's kind of ported from the Galaxy Nexus and some of the features are not working. But I mean, it's a still solid ROM, you know, it's a great ROM. So definitely try it out and let me know what you think. So that's the ROM of the week for your Nexus S. Um, and uh, I guess like, I guess that's much, pretty much it. Um, don't forget to install G-Apps and if you're coming from a Jelly Bean ROM, you probably don't need to do a data factory reset, data wide da uh, factory reset. But if you're not, um, do make sure you do that. Um, otherwise, your phone might have a lot of you know problems. And uh, otherwise, it's pretty good. Everything else is working. So, pretty nice ROM. Oh, I forgot to mention the camera. The camera does have extra features, but the Nexus S is kind of slow. So you, there is burst mode, but it's going to run really slow. So I don't actually recommend it. But you do get a lot more options. Um, and uh, I think I've set it to black and white here. Yeah, it, it's 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 a pretty nice ROM. So you know, you get a little bit more stuff, power shutter, all of this stuff. Um, so check it out. And if you have a Galaxy, no, sorry, if you have a Nexus S, uh, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexusshacks.com. We update you once a week with ROM of the week, tips, hacks, and more. And also, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me and others if you have trouble with your phone. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button for me here, subscribe button up there, and uh, stay high on Android. And we'll see y'all later. Yeah.